Hey yo, what's good, y'all? I'm your boy Diesel, and we back on Hip Hop's Universe page, and they got something. Do teens know '90s hip hop? We gonna watch this, man. We gonna see do teens know '90s hip hop? I'm gonna see if they know it better than me, man. It's been a minute. Today we're gonna see how well you know '90s hip hop. Like music, hip hop. Oh no. There's like no way I'm getting anything today. Not making any guarantees because I never do well with these. I feel like every time I come in here and you guys tell me to do 90s stuff, I feel like y'all think I'm a 90s kid, but I'm not. I think I do great. I still listen to 90s hip hop now. Let's okay, go let's Brooklyn. Do it. Okay. You're in my element. My now. man hey. will. I'm gonna do way better because I. Hey, let's go, y'all. The first couple people, man, we um, y'all parents is letting me down. Like, come on, man. Come on. You throw some fucking 80s and 70s shit on. I'm going to know what it is. My mother, come on, Jackson. My mother, listen to all that, man. Luther Vandross, Jackson 5, Marvin Gaye. I'm familiar. What are we talking about, man? I actually listen to 90s hip hop. My man, Moses. Moises, whatever the fuck his name is. Yep. Okay. Today was a good day. Today was a good day by Ice Cube. Let's see what they talking about. We're getting up in the morning. Gotta thank Okay, God. Moses. I don't know what today feels kind of odd. My man, Bryce. Look, I'm giving these niggas nicknames already. This is a straight up classic. Straight up classic. Don't know who it is though. Do you know it? No. Honestly, I have no clue. I know for fact it's Biggie. Today it's was a good day. Definitely not Biggie. Wait, no. Ice Cube. There we go. Let's go. I had to think about it. Let's a go. Good day by Ice Cube. Yes, Ice Cube. Today was a good day on the Predator. Today was a good day by Ice Cube. Did my so. man just call out the album. Let's go. See, let's go. This is It Was a Good Day by Ice Cube. <sighs> Oh my gosh, yeah, okay. Corrected myself, see? Redemption. Oh, I know who Ice Cube is. He's an actor now. So this song was meant to be a contrast to the rest of his songs on his album Predator, which was recorded during the time of the LA riots. Ice Cube said he knew people would expect him to rap about the riots and the bad days, but he also wanted to rap about his good days. Yeah, that's crazy. Because yeah. I was, I lived right next to where all that happened, so like right across the street from my apartment, everything was burnt down. It's a good self-reflection of that, you know, while all these things are happening, there's still okay. a bright side. Okay. That's one thing I like okay. that Ice Cube shows is that we have good days okay. just like. Ah, uh, come on, oh my God. come uh, on. Uh, uh, yeah, we okay. shooting this everybody who get this one wrong. We don't play about Biggie over here, man. This is Biggie for sure. Yes, I know this song too. <laughs> That's it. Yo, if they don't get the name of the song, I ain't gonna be that mad. But when you hear Biggie voice, I don't care, don't get it mixed with Shine, Gorilla Black. When you hear Biggie voice, you supposed to know. There we go. There's the Biggie song. Come on, Brooklyn. Wait, I know that song. I've heard long. it before. Way too long. This has been going on way too long. The G Funk on this is beautiful. The G Funk. Yo, I am loving my man right there. It's like very. My man called out the style of music. What? See what she talk about. Like the beats, like very catchy. Heike, we should just screw this. Just let's just start chilling. Do you know it? Uh uh. Big Papa by Notorious. B.I.G. Big Papa by Biggie Smalls. Mm. This was Big Papa by Notorious. I love the fact that she called them Biggie Smalls. That's how you know she a true fan. She don't just see it on her motherfucking iTunes or her fucking Spotify. Yeah, you know I mean, she know who Biggie is. Let's go. There's B.I.G. Yeah, okay, so that's, okay. I recognize that song, which I didn't expect me to at all. I don't go out of my way to listen to him, but if he ever comes on, like, I just gotta let it play. Damn Justin right. Peace, Biggie. Please, God, take Justin Bieber and give us back Biggie Smalls, please. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> there he go there. No, yo, I fucks with Beeb. I got my peaches out in Florida. That shit. Georgia's Georgia. Well, I fucks with Beeb. Beeb's, man. Come on. That's my shit. <laughs> All right, come on, let's get to the next joint. Ooh, ha. I absolutely don't know this Bust song. Busta Rhymes, man. Come oh on, don't play with my man Busta. He is go. I know I do. Ooh, ha. Yo, I can see them not getting this one, because this one don't really get played today 
as often as Biggie would. Like, you know, Biggie, you could you sneak that in and uh, a fucking wedding or something like that. Depending on the age group or the, the demographics, you can't really get Wu High in there. You know what I mean? That's going to be a new so It was hella 90s. That that beat, that boom, boom. Yeah, you know I, I love know these this niggas. No history, it was good. Man. I liked it. I just don't know the song. I think it's ODB. I'm gonna say Buster Rhymes, but I have no idea who or what the song is. My I'm, man Zach from Say by the Bell been impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Don't know the name of the song, but I know it's by Buster Rhymes. So this is Woo Ha by Buster Rhymes. What? What? This is Busta Rhymes? What? Oh, I know Busta Rhymes. I know Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes. Oh, Busta Rhymes. The voice was what was was really killing me. I was like, why does he sound so familiar? This is Busta Rhymes? Really? Oh, man. He can just like get on the mic and start spitting and spitting and spitting. <laughs> and you're just like, damn. No one has a voice like Busta Rhymes. He even talks like that. It's crazy. That's a fact. Busta do be on his bullshit. That's how he talk. I knew it was gonna be Woo when I saw 92. Oh, Wu Tang Clan. Oh, I love that sound. <laughs> it's so 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, baby come on. Home. Let's go. What's my man's name again? Do you know it? What's his no, name? No, I don't. Nope. I don't know the song. But it sounds like it's a group. I'm gonna go with my gut and say it was NWA. Protect your neck, Wu Tang Clan. Protect your neck by Wu Tang Clan. Let's so go. This was Protect Your Neck by Wu Tang Clan. Wu Tang Clan. He's gonna be disappointed. Yeah. I knew he was gonna be disappointed. See, I would never know. <laughs> okay, I know who Wu Tang Clan. I've heard of them. Oh, oh, look, I knew she was gonna be disappointed too. You can tell who the true hip hop is. <laughs> you guys aren't gonna is. see me for like three weeks. <laughs> see, see, she knows she can't go home. She gotta hide. She probably from Brooklyn. Yeah, her name Brooklyn. You supposed to know who you know you blew up when the women rush your stands. Uh, so everybody gonna know this. Like screaming us the fans. Guy White Castle asked for my autograph. So wait, wait, wait. Dave, thank Thanks for the support, asshole. asshole. Hi, my name oh. is. Yeah, Look, I know I exactly you. who this is. Everybody gonna know who this is. I don't know part. That part's iconic. What? My name is. Yo, I just want to say this. This is what I be talking about about Eminem because all the kids know Eminem. All the kids know Eminem, and that's because this song was marketed for kids. The high pitched voice, hi, my name is, hi, my name is, it was for kids. And when you listen to this shit he was talking about, it was disgusting. But nowadays, y'all want to censor every fucking thing. Come on, man, come on. My, my name is. He barely made it in this one. This came out in 1999. I was a year old. Do you know it? I don't know. Look, he was a year <laughs> old and no. You know what I mean? He was a year old. They don't know none of this shit. You fucking up Biggie and shit like that. Eminem. Eminem, Slim Shady. My name is by Eminem. It's up. Uh, my name is by Eminem. My name is Eminem. This is my name is by Eminem. My name is. But, you know, it's Sam Slim Shady. I got That's what's up. The, I'm, so I'm, I'm with him. Proud. I'm with him, even though I, I, that album fire, but fuck it. Out of I've definitely heard this. Salt and pepper. I don't know very many female Come rappers. On. No offense to female rappers. It just I haven't heard them. Oh no. Us. Uh, shoot. Shoot. Come on. I liked it. A female hip hop artist. That's like dope. So do you know? It? I do not know. Who no, I don't know who it is. Either MC Light or Lauren Hill. It sounds called like Shoot or something. MC I want to say Light. Shoot by Salt and Pepper. This is Shoot by Salt and Pepper. Let's go. So this is Shoot by Salt and Pepper. Let's Man, I'm messing up today. The Shoot a Dupe part was familiar because I heard it in Deadpool. I've never I heard, heard it in Salt Deadpool. And Pepper. So Salt and Pepper was the first female rap group. Its members were Cheryl James, Sandra Denton, and Latoya oh, Hansen. Okay. <laughs> First female rap group. That's that's huge history. They were the pioneers to this. There's nothing holding girls back from being able to rap. It's just a stereotype that it's like a men thing to do, which kind of sucks. Shut up. Shut up. Like you busting grapes. Think you holding weight. You haven't met the apes. Stop. I kind of like this, but I have no clue who it is. Oh. Shorty gotta be from New York or something. DMX's voice is very definitely like, it, East Coast. It's, it's, it's hard not to know. Go, go. Sexy wanna fight? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All of these songs, I just imagined those really DMX old cars that can like DMX got a lot go. of niggas fucked up. 
DMX music got up a lot and down, of niggas like fucked up. With these, don't you know? get it no, twisted. no. This is DMX, but I, I don't, I don't know song, song title. Stop drop or something Stop like that. It's drop. by Rough DMX. Riders I'm pretty anthem. sure. Yes, yeah, DMX. Um, I think it's Rough Riders Anthem. Rough Riders Anthem DMX. <laughs> so this is Rough Riders Anthem by DMX. Oh my god. Look, he I know of him, but I listen to his music. Never we heard gotta of him. Change either. that, okay, young that blood. Makes sense. Rough Riders Anthem. Yeah, because we're Rough Riders. So we are Rough Riders. DMX has become a pastor. He currently preaches at a Christian church in arizona <laughs> he's a pastor what yeah anyway well, this was in 2017 when this was shot but i ain't never know damn mex can go anywhere i guess why are you being a pastor go make more music what are you talking about From super hood rapper to a pastor i mean interesting transition because you're like going super hard rap to praise the lord but if you listen to dmx music he uh preached in Praise the Lord and all his music. So that just goes to show you how much people just looked at it and wasn't listening to what he was talking about. Thanks for watching us, guest 90s yes, hip hop on the re Yes, sir. So that's what it was, man. That was a cool little video, man. That was funny to see the kids react to it. They need to do another one, yo. I would like to see more kids react to 90s music. Niggas gotta know Biggie, though, man. We not letting Biggie just disappear like that, man. We not doing that, man. With all, I'm your boy Diesel, man.